Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I'm with Kimberly and uh, we got 10 people that we're going to minister to. So if you would like to receive ministry in the future, just write your name in the comments and I would love to minister the word of the Lord to you. Uh, so the first person I want to minister to is Gael Anna. So Gael, what the Lord is showing to me is how he's slowly but surely giving you victory and he's helping you to overcome new territory in your life. And I saw you uh, taking territory and then losing a little bit and then taking territory and losing a little bit, almost like waves. And I just felt that the Lord says, do not fear, do not let the enemy's intimidation stop you. Uh, the Lord has a purpose and a plan and a vision for your life and he wants you to occupy it. And so pray, uh, be obedient to the Holy Spirit and you're going to see how he's going to give you strategies how to occupy that territory and that land and bring peace in your life. God bless you. Amen, Gavis. Thanks for this for Lucy. Lucy, the Lord shows me how sometimes you feel like your buttons are being pressed and, 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 and then it's like you get all stressed out and you just stop reacting and responding in, in not always the nicest ways, but the Lord shows me how He is going to change that, how how you are, how when you feel like your button is being pressed, that you're not going to, to immediately respond in aggression, but you're going to respond effectively, that you're going to get the job done, or when you feel like you're under pressure, the Lord shows me I was completely shifting you from a place of like aggression and, or I need to get this done and I need to get it done now, to not working in the spirit, in, to not working in the, in the, physical but working in the spiritual and getting more stuff done be blessed hey. uh, lucy i just see how the lord is pouring his holy spirit anointing upon your life and uh, the lord is taking all fear away and giving you boldness god bless you lucy i was at janart uh, the lord chose me uh, this uh, long swimming pool and how you are swimming and that swimming pool represented to me the presence of god and the ministry that is given to you and i just see how you swim freestyle and then you do butterfly and then you do back stroke and you do different uh, disciplines and you learn how to function in a swimming pool and how to get your speeds up and I just felt that the Lord says it's going to help you to be effective in the presence of God and instead of taking hours and hours to minister to one person you're going to take a lot shorter amount of time to minister to a lot more people and it's going to make you very productive God bless you uh, Amen, Janet. Uh, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Hazel. Hazel, the Lord shows me how you are like this this flower and that you just start to unfold one petal and one petal. And I feel like that's just things that you are surrendering to the Lord that you're not holding in anymore. And the Lord shows me that once you are fully bloomed, that once you feel like you have just yielded everything to the Lord, that is when like you will truly start to like to see find your calling because you will be open and the lord and, and like i see like the holy spirit is like the bees that are coming and and bringing you pollen and bringing you wisdom and 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 helping you to grow because if a flower doesn't get pollen it doesn't grow properly so i, I just feel open up to the lord and see how the holy spirit the counselor the comforter is coming to you and just giving you this newness be blessed Hey, Hazel, uh, I hear the Lord say about you, faithful one. Hey, God bless you, Hazel. Okay, so Johnson, uh, the Lord is showing to me a business anointing on your life. But you're also very creative and you are a pioneer. So you like to explore and start new things and add new things to your own plate. And I felt that the Lord says that He wants you to specialize. And where you were doing many things, He wants you to focus. And I saw how He actually adds another skill another product another service to you and how you remove three ones that that is not doing well and then he adds another one to you and how you remove three other ones again and how the lord actually reduce the products and the services that you give as a businessman uh, but they are more specialized and more focused on your strengths and i felt that the lord says he's just going to help you to simplify your life but also then to bring increase and i see 30 and 60 and 100 fold increase when you focus god bless you Amen, Johnson. Please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Ella. Ella, the Lord shows me how you are just stepping up to the plate, that you are taking responsibility. And I just feel this pride coming from the Father. He is so, so proud of you. And how you and how you haven't just seen this, this new step as like this huge challenge that you won't be able to accomplish because you know where your help comes from and you will just step up. You will just step up to the to that new standard that the Lord is asking you to step up to, and and even when the next one comes, continue with that same uh, perseverance to 
to know that the Lord is my strength, the Lord is with me, and I can, I can step up to this, to this new level because He is with me. Be blessed. Hey, hello. Uh, God's hand is upon your life. God bless you. So, Jock, the Lord gave me a very interesting um, vision about your life. Okay, so I see a doctor's office, and you are one of the doctors, and you are great at what you're doing. And then I saw a parking lot where the people st stop that want to come and see you. So now what happens? You got the parking lot and you got the doctor's offices, but you got no reception. So people want to get in, but they don't. There's not someone to welcome them and to tell them, okay, it's your turn. You can go in. You can go out. So every time when you're done with a client, you have to actually step out of your office into the parking lot, find the next person, and then help that person again. And then I saw how you were building on a reception, and I felt that the Lord says that your business is great but it's going to help you to build a marketing funnel how to receive the people that come to you so they could be scheduled and directed to receive uh, um, business from you or they could receive services or whatever you're selling to them and i just felt that the lord is going to help you with your marketing and that reception and the welcoming part of your business and you are a, a man of love um, and you love people that you work with and I just felt that that's also going to help you to be able to love people more. God bless you, Jock. Amen. Uh, Tony, the Lord shows me how He is just giving you wisdom. In this time, I see how you are covered in, in like this, this like gear, like when people go skateboarding, they have like these gloves on and like uh, uh, elbow pads and, and knee pads and, and you have this helmet on and, and people are saying like, why are you wearing all this stuff? Don't you know that, that God is with you and that you are and that you are safe, that you are protected? And, and you say yes, but the Lord has also given us wisdom. And I hear that that you are not walking forward cautiously but you are walking forward knowing that that some that some things might happen and that you are secure that you are safe that the lord has has given you all of these things to protect you and he wants you to wear them um and really take wisdom in these next uh, couple days and months and the lord shows me how how you also have all of these pockets and how you must know that you have all that you that you have something else up your sleeve that you don't need to think that you're going to run out of ideas or run out of this or run out of that because the Lord shows me how he's just flooding you with creativity. Be blessed. Okay, awesome. Um, uh, Tony, God bless you. Uh, I, I think I saw a heart bypass um, and I wasn't sure if that is physical. I think God is healing your heart. Uh, it could be spiritual, uh, but God bless you, Tony. Uh, so Lizette, uh, the Lord is showing to me a house and uh, but the boundary around the house is just holes that is dug and all the poles for the boundary wall is in the holes but they're not planted they need to be put up straight and concrete uh, uh, put in each one of the posts so they stand so they can put the rest of the fence up and uh, what i felt what god was saying to me is that this next 12 months in your life is a year of establishment of relationships and establishment of boundaries and so inside that boundary is where you work is where your ministry is where your family grows is where you are safe uh, and where the lord also say that's your purpose and that's your mandate inside here not outside and i just felt that the lord says a lot of things are being established in this year god bless you lizette Amen. Lizette, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Riyadh Kutsia. The Lord shows me how you are how you are stirring this huge pot of food and I just hear mother to all. How you are so open and that you are so caring and that when you are around people and when you just share the word of the Lord, it is like feeding their, their, their spirits. And the Lord shows me how, how after people like ha spend time with you, how they are full. And the Lord is saying that I really want you to, to start pouring into, into children, into, into younger people. And start filling them up with this amazing food from, from my word and from my love that they will be filled with me. Be blessed. Hey, Rita, the Lord is giving you discernment to see who you should connect with and who you should not connect with. And I really believe there's a lot of new people you're going to get to know and you're going to be able to show love to them and minister to them because God will show you that uh, these are ones that I want you to connect with. As I read, uh, God bless you. Thank you, family. What a pleasure it was for us to minister to you today. Uh, so uh, if you would like to receive ministry, please write your name in the comments. Um, uh, I want to encourage you, uh, once you received your word, just go back, write it out, pray about it, get instructions from God. Remember, we are co-laborers with Him, so we work with Him. He tells us what to do and we 
Do our party, does his part, and then together we have the victory. God loves each one of you. You are valuable, you are special, and you're awesome. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.